So it's not like we're going to see Treasure Island police out here giving tickets right away. They said first signs are going to go up and then they're going to work to educate people in the community about this new rule. But should someone ignore request to stop smoking or become a repeat offender, that's when they could get an $88 citation. There's one, one step. There's two, one, two steps. <laughs> Three steps that time. It took all but three steps for Carrie Auerbach to pull five cigarette butts from the sand by the Treasure Island Beach Trail. So 80% of the trash we find on the beach are cigarette butts. You can combine straws, paper cups, food wrappers. Auerbach is the founder of Treasure Island Adopt a Beach. And while picking up other people's trash may not be the definition of fun, she wants the beach clean and the birds and marine life here healthy because cigarette butts like this are full of toxins and can take 10 years to break down. In the meantime, while they're decomposing, they turn into microplastics and the birds and the turtles, all of the environment is affected by that. The new ban is effective immediately and prohibits cigarette smoking and vaping on public beaches, in city parks and on the beach trail, but it's still allowed in parking lots. 10 minutes. The city says they've seen an increase in litter from cigarettes, and it's clear. But while the city of St. Pete has a similar ban, not all of the beach cities do. One beach has to be the same as the next beach. Otherwise, you just have people going from beach to beach trying to figure out where they can smoke. Our back was happy to see the city moving forward with this ban, but isn't sure that pushing smokers to the parking lot is the answer. Enforcement's going to be very difficult. Um, what I don't want to see is a lot of angry people. Um, we've got enough anger in this world right now, so um, we just need to find a way to educate. And a spokesperson for the city says that the ban does include areas at and around some beachside restaurants like Caddy's, for example. So the CEO of Caddy sent me a statement that reads, as a company, we are always evolving our operations to safeguard our local beaches. Caddy says worked hand in hand with neighboring communities to keep our sands clean, and we will always continue to do so. If the law passes to ban smoking on the beach, we would be the first ones ready to enforce it in our small piece of paradise. And the city says that smoking will still be allowed in some small areas between the beach trail and also the hotels that line Gulf Boulevard. But it will be up to the hotel to decide where smoking is allowed and also to maintain that small piece of the sand there. On scene in Treasure Island, I'm Angie Andrews.